I know. You don't even seem to understand the show. You just ruin everything. You gotta be funny in here. I can't wait for you guys to see this on Howard TV. <laughs> Daily shows, classics, and exclusive behind-the-scenes access. Well, that's gonna be on Howard TV. The funniest, sexiest, most star-studded network on TV is Howard TV On Demand. Hey Stern fans, welcome to Find Time, the show where you, the fans, get the opportunity to ask questions and interact with your favorite Stern Show staffers, whack packers, and celebrity superfans. I'm your host, Rachel Fine. Now, if I asked you to spell the word red, and the first thing that came to mind was L-E-E-T-R-D, then you know exactly who my guest for today is. It doesn't matter if he's shitting his pants and blaming someone else, or answering every question with the word me, or making truly unique sounds while vomiting. <laughs> We can't help but love him. His antics and costumes have kept us laughing for years and he never ceases to amaze us. He may weigh 648 pounds and be under five feet tall, but in the stern world, he is a giant of a man. Ladies and gentlemen, it is truly my honor to introduce you to a man who is, as bad as can, the one, the only, Beetlejuice. Hi, Beat. How you doing? I'm doing good, how you doing? I'm doing fine, honey. Are, are you excited to answer some questions today? Oh, sure. A lot of people have things to ask you. Right, right. All right, well, I'm gonna jump right in because we got some burning questions here. Mm -hmm. uh, our first question comes from Martin W. And he asks, do you think it was inevitable that the Industrial Revolution would result in vast global unemployment? Not to get us, yeah. You, why do you think that? Because people play basketball because that's, that's their life. That's, that's what they prefer to do is play basketball. Right. Right. Were they playing it in the Industrial Revolution a lot? That's... Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Okay. So uh, would would we stop playing basketball in order to fix the economy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe yeah. just chill out on the basketball. Probably chill out basketball. Probably chill out on yeah. basketball. That makes sense. Question two comes from Andrea F. Andrea asks, Beetlejuice, how old are you? I'm 24. 24, okay. I, I thought you were 46. <laughs> no, 46. I'm looking... 80 years old. No, you're 80? <laughs> you're 80 already. Wow. Next question comes from Rupert F. And he asks, do you still speak Italian? Well, I speak a little bit Italian, but a little bit. Say something for us in Italian. Well, I couldn't spell it unless I did. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Can you tell us about uh, the Industrial Revolution in Italian? Well, it's Italian, but there's a lot of people that's Italian, but, you know, a lot of people does, but... They don't speak much, but they speak much in the well. Do you just speak Italian or you speak other languages well, too? Well, they speak two different languages. You do? Sometimes, but not every time. What, what other language? Well, some people do, some people don't, you know. Well, that's a good point. Some people do and some people don't. Next question comes from Todd C. Todd asks, have you ever been in love? Well, maybe quite, I don't know, maybe. Once in a while. Once in a while, you, you've been in love. Who right. are you, who are you in love with? Hey, I've been in love <laughs> with my wife for ten years. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are still madly in love. Oh yeah, we're still in love. What yeah. kind of romantic things you do for her? Oh, all day long. All day long, you're doing romantic stuff. Oh yeah. Like what? All day long. Oh, <laughs> that you. <laughs> You're putting a lot of time into that romance. Oh, yeah. The candles, bubble baths. Oh, yeah. Take her out to dinner. Probably that. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Well, I'm, she's a lucky woman. Next question is from Joseph M. Joseph asks, who is your favorite person on the show? And you can't say Howard. Well, no. Oh, Howard. No, no, I ain't going to say Howard, but he just, he just a guy. He's just a friend. Yeah, he's just a friend. There's nothing going on there. He's just a friend. Hey, yeah, there's, there's nothing just, going on. Just nah, dispel those that. rumors right now. There's nothing going on with him and Howard. I love you, Howard Stern. I wish you well. I've been landing. So who is your favorite person on the show? Well, my favorite person on the show is... I don't know. I don't know. I probably just hate the goddamn guy. Which, which guy do you hate? Hey. You know, Benji, yeah. Oh, Benji. You hate him. He's not your favorite. Nah. Okay. So we've, we've taken him off the list. Oh, yeah. He's the worst. He's the worst. What, what's he done to you? Me? Oh, he likes to fight with people. 
he f and he fought with you? Oh, he used to fight with me. I'm telling you, he used to come in here. He used to be in the back. They used to have him doing things all the time. Yeah. Come in all the time, drunk. Oh, he was Fight with people, fight with Howard, he fight was with everybody. He was drunk and fighting you? He fights everybody. Him, Benji, him, me, yeah. Howard, whoever, who else? Will you guys ever box? Me? Yeah. One time I broke, one time I broke his nose. Once. You broke his nose? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. That must have hurt. Did he hurt you at all or no? Oh, he didn't hurt me. I hurt him. You knocked him out? Yeah, broke his jaw, yeah. Howard was there during the fight? No, I was there. He was sitting there when I broke him, when I broke his jaw. Did he jump in the fight with you? No. No, I just you? Jump in. I was sitting right there. Okay. And then you just jumped up and broke his nose? Yeah. We better watch out. Uh, next question comes from John V. John asks, can you please name our last five presidents? Uh, five presidents. Well, the only person we got is up. It's not five of us, but it's only one person, it's just one, one judge. Who's the judge? Well, one president is just a, all presidents the same name. Uh, they're all named president. Yeah, they That's a good point. Is. Yeah. That's a good point. Have you ever thought about running for president? Well, I could have, yeah. Yeah, why didn't you? If I wanted to, I would, yeah. I want the president, you motherfuckers. I want the president, you motherfuckers. Yeah, I think you'd be great. Well, if I wanted to be president again, yeah, I'd take it. Yeah, yeah, you'd take it. No problem with it. What kind of big changes would you make for our country? <laughs> well, I'd quickly in New York. Well, in New York, you'd make some changes. Just in New York, you wouldn't make any changes around the rest of the world. No, I wouldn't make no changes. I'd just leave just the way it is, the way we're doing it. And just have a party. Be president and have a party. Well, yeah, president has parties. They do what they do. We have lunches. People do what they do. You'd have some lunch and you do what they do. No, you yeah. well, we <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's does. That's true. Words were never spoken. Uh, next question comes from Joe P. on Facebook. Joe wants to know, how do you feel about Occupy Wall Street? Well, well Wall Street? I've yeah. been doing it for 10 years. Everybody knows that. You've been doing Occupy Wall Street for 10 years? Oh, yeah, 10 years. A lot really? of people know that. What, what were you doing down there? Well, people live down there. Yeah. People can do what they want. People live down there. People live there. People have houses there. People do what they want because they, they live on their land. That's what they do. Yeah, they're just doing what they want. They can do what they want because they live on their land. And why do you think they're they're protesting? Well, why, why they're protesting? Because they wanted to see people. People want to make money. So they're protesting to make the money. They want to make their money. They make their money. Some do, some don't. What do you suggest the people who don't make the money should do? Well, they should have an office. That's what they should do. Go get an office. Build an office and do something. <laughs> That's a good point. Build an office. That would help. Next question comes from Ari M. Ari asks, Beetle, what are your favorite stock picks for the year? My stock pick? Yeah. What should people invest in? Well, they always invest in anything. Yeah. Well, people do what they have to do, and they do it. If they, <laughs> that's a good point. What? Uh, so, should they invest in any particular companies? Any? Any? Oh, what's your? I, what's in your stock portfolio well, right now? My stock. Yeah. Is building a company. That's what it is. That's make people making money. Yeah. So if they, if they just build the office. Right. Don't even invest in a stock. No. You can put it in stock, but people, long people, as long as people making their money, yeah. Next question is from John M. Beat, do you brush your tooth? Me? Yeah, I brush my teeth. Yeah. yeah. Every day? Every day. Every single day? Morning and night? Morning and night. Every single day. Every single day. You floss it too? Uh, a couple of times, yeah. Yeah, all right. That's good. I can tell that there's some oral hygiene going on. Next question is from Irvin H. Irvin asks, hey, Beetle, are you doing any more movies? Uh, a couple more days I will, yeah. What kind of movie? Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's take me a while to do it. Yeah. What's what's the movie about? Well, it just people like to watch it. Yeah. You know. Oh, I want to watch it. Well, it takes me to a couple of weeks or another two weeks or something, two or three weeks. And what's gonna happen in the movie? Uh, I got a couple of people I have to meet. Yeah. And then you then you'll get started on the movie. Yeah. Okay. I did have that started another two weeks or something. Are you writing the movie too? Oh, uh, I'm writing the movie. Yeah. And you're directing it? Yep. And you're, you're doing the whole thing, and you're no, a star I'm doing, in it. I'm doing the whole thing. The whole thing. You're going to write it, direct it, no, star I'm in it. I'm going to write the whole thing, yeah. Tell me about the movie. What's this movie about? I don't know. I don't know. I think you've got an Academy Award in your future. 
Another question from Chad F. Chad asks, Beetle, can you spell red? Spell red? Yeah. Red is it's like a, like a chalk, like crayon, whatever. Yeah. How you spell it? Spell red. L A T E R. Oh, crayon, L T S. L T S. Yes, crayon. L T S. This has been really enlightening. You've taught me a lot today, Beetle. Hey, yes, yeah, quite a day. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things. Uh, I want to take a minute to genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank Beetle for sitting down with me today. This has been this has been pretty fun, thank huh? Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, thank you for sending in all of your questions. Keep sending your questions in. You can send them via Twitter, Facebook. Uh, you can send video submissions and be a part of the show. You can email us. Just remember to keep sending them. And also remember that this is your show, so don't screw it up. Until next time, I'm Rachel Fine, and I hope you had a fine time. <laughs> and Beetlejuice, <used> too. <laughs> <laughs> and Beetlejuice, too. You want to give a, the audience a message? You want to say hi to them? Thanks, audience. I like you guys. I like, I like you guys like, too. I don't like you guys watching. <laughs> I, I like them. I love them. You love them? I love you guys. You love the, love the world, I think. What he said. and exclusive behind-the-scenes access. Well, that's going to be on Howard TV. The funniest, sexiest, most star-studded network on TV is Howard TV On Demand.